hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video so today i'm just in my bedroom trying to fleet i'm trying to go out with my husband we're going out we're going to go get some sushi because i'm just so stressed today and i need sushi to de-stress so it's that food that gives me so much comfort it gives me like i don't know it just makes me calm so i'm going to go get sushi right now and i want to bring you guys along i'm just going to fleet and i'll be headed downstairs so we can go out yeah this one's good just put it on let's go okay you want to go out with mommy and baba to get sushi yeah. you like sushi yeah. have you ever eaten sushi yeah. no you haven't you haven't? Yeah, I have sushi in my house. You have sushi in your house? Yeah. But you've never eaten it? Never. So that's the sushi. That's Noor eating sushi. Let me look at you. Hi. <laughs> I'm here. So I'm trying to start editing a vlog. The vlog that I've been recording. I haven't recorded anything in a while. So um yeah I'll just import the files and start that and I'm also having tea. Um this is the mug I got from um Wigmore. She sent it to me a while back with a bunch of other things. Yeah. Okay, so this is the vlog. Let's tell them what we're doing. What are we doing? Um, fixing your tires and go buy pizza. Fixing my tires, then we go buy pizza? Yeah. Okay. So, um, today is a work day. Actually, not a work day for me. It's Sunday. And I just decided to just go to my cafe and try some new recipes. So, Nora and I are going to buy pizza. Then the driver will pick him up. Then they'll go to his cousin's place. He really just wanted to go meet them. So, are you excited? Yeah. Okay. We ordered pizza and we're eating it in the car. Random Sunday things. It's still that pizza that we go with now. Hi guys. So, as part of my day, I came to Jabi Lake Mall to do some furniture shop. I'm going to get carpets, mirrors, and all those things that you need in the house. It's still for some of my clients, so I'm going to go inside now. You know there's like a stupid no camera policy in Jabi Lake Mall, so I'm not going to be filming what I'm going to do inside. But I'm just making the update that I'm going to go inside right now. And yeah, I'll see you guys when I come out. So guys, I ended up doing an impromptu shopping at Mango and Pandora. So I got, um, I'll do the haul when I get home. I got some dresses at Mango. I know it's so loud. And I got this beauty at Pandora. I can't wait to show you guys what it is. I don't know. I'm so tired because I walked all the way from the mall to my car and I parked far away. So I'm going to show you what is inside. I've been splurging like all my money. I've been buying things. I don't even get it now. So um, I bought a lot of things this month this december i don't know why i'm doing that i'm just doing all sorts of things guys so um yeah i'll see you guys when i get home well i ended up not going home i came to my cafe i'm so tired i should have gone home i don't know why i just drove here like i literally just drove here without thinking about it so i'm just going to go inside see what is happening because i'm very very tired i'm just going to go inside see what's happening then oh yeah there's a furniture shop next to my cafe like literally opposite my cafe so i can check the stuff i need to check there then yeah yeah my brain works good so i'll see you guys in a bit
one drawer down and yep this is where i managed to put my sleepwear and some of the scarves that i brought and like it's just 10 days in Kano and I packed a whole drawer of sleepwear. So next I'm going to tackle the laces that I got. I have a lot of Ankara in my wardrobe so I just brought out these ones just for the wedding. This is what I'm going to wear for the wedding dinner and this is just in case I might need to wear something. I don't know, you know spare clothes? Not that I know what I'm going to do. Then this one I was meant to wear it yesterday for the airport but then I didn't. Then this one, it's just a spare. Then this one is the one I'm going to wear today because it's been a while I wore it. So I'm just going to wear it or another pink one. I'll show you guys the options. These are what I came with from Abuja but like, I don't know guys, I don't know. So I also managed to like put these laces inside the drawer and oh my god it's I can't open it with one hand and I managed to do this as well. You know when I'm traveling I like to bring more loungewear stuff like this than actual clothes. So I have the other dress in there because it wouldn't fit inside the drawer and I just put the bags I came with on the coat rack. Because guys, I only stayed in this house for like two months since I got married. So I don't have all the modern stuff. And my closet is literally an empty space that we haven't even put shelves in. So we turned it into like a laundry. So I just brought these four bags because I just came for a wedding. And this is my everyday bag. I'm thinking of wearing this one. This one to the wedding. Because I like it. I saw it at Mango and it was very, very affordable. It was like um i think 20k so i just bought it and i absolutely love this one my husband got it for me he saw it at russell and bromley while he was shopping online so he just got it for me and surprised me i'm thinking of wearing it to the wedding dinner then i don't know i just brought this one because it might come in handy maybe for like camo event and whatnot this is my everyday bag because everybody knows it so i travel with it it takes a lot of stuff all my money, all my cards, my camera, my stuff, my sanitizer. Okay, you can't see the inside, but like, it takes a lot of stuff. That's why I go around with it all the time. So yeah, that's that. And I was going to go shower, but honestly, I'm not going to shower. I'm just going to go visit my grandma. I want to go get her tea. My grandma makes the best tea in the world. So I'm going to go to her house right now and I'll see you guys there literally waiting for makeup like that's my answer. we're waiting together we've been here for over um, okay, one hour. <laughs> almost an hour so um yeah hopefully it becomes our turn and we go get the makeup done because sis is tired Of the wedding, my auntie Hidaya is driving us, but to show me treats. I know you guys know her. <laughs> then 
Uh, that's my auntie Rahma. It's a bit dark, but like that's her. That's how she would rather die than be in this vlog. So um, yeah, that's that for today, and we'll be. I don't know. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys. So um, I just got back home. I stopped by at my grandmother's house to like do a few things. Well, my auntie that drove us just took us directly to my grandma's house, and I didn't tell her to drop me off at my house. So I went to go see my grandma just to say hi and like just start about the wedding and from there I called my husband to come pick me up. So we came back home and I just changed. I'm about to go wipe off my makeup. I love this makeup. I think tomorrow I'm going to go back to this makeup artist because I love the makeup and it doesn't look cakey at all. It looks natural. Yeah, if I do say so. It actually looks natural, I love it, and she didn't cover my freckles. I can still see the freckles, but you guys can't. So, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to take off the makeup and sleep. Then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe in the morning, maybe at the wedding, I don't know. This vlog is not planned, but like I'm trying so hard to vlog everything so that I can give you a good vlog. I don't know how to vlog anymore. I have so many vlogging issues, but I'll see you guys when I see you next. Hi guys, good morning. No, good morning really. It's about 3.45 p.m. and I should be getting ready to head on to my grandma's place because I have made plans that I'm going to be there and I'm going to go meet my auntie there. I don't know, a lot of plans, but I've just been in bed doing live videos on Instagram about my wedding pictures and I don't know guys. So, um, I'm just going to go shower and I'm thinking of wearing this this dress today. Thinking of wearing it to my grandma's place. Um, I don't know why I'm vlogging this, but I'll see you guys at my grandma's. Hi guys, so um, I'm already out. I'm headed towards Gusto before I go for my makeup because my husband wants us to eat at Gusto first because we haven't had lunch my mother my grandmother sent us food but then he left before eating so now i'm saving the food for us to eat tomorrow and then today we'll eat at Gusto. so i'm driving and there's a ton of traffic my makeup is at 6 15 6 30 ish but i'm still stuck in traffic how am i going to eat then make my way to the makeup i don't even know guys just have a look at what i'm seeing like literally this is all i'm seeing I'm stuck in traffic. This Gadang Air traffic. It's not even Gadang Air. I don't know the name of the place, but like I'm stuck in traffic. So yeah, I've been in traffic. This is the Amias Palace by my right, by my left, sorry. And it's congested. I'm trying to just get out of the congestion, but I can't. It's just so crowded. Oh my God. So, I'm literally using Google Maps in Kano, something I thought I would never do, but I'm doing it today because of the traffic and I don't know guys. Guys, I just got my makeup done and I just want to make it known out there that driving in Kano is not an easy task. Driving in Kano is literally risking your life and risking your car, your everything, because you don't know how you're gonna go back home. I came out and the guy in a napep just hit me by the side and left a dent. I was, I don't know, like random people would just be hitting you anyhow. The city is just so jammed and crowded and all that. I can't remember the last time I drove in Kano, like this long drive. I normally just drive from my house to my grandmother's house, but today I drove from my house to Gusto, from Gusto to Fandi's place. From Fandi's place, I'm going to my uncle's house. And like, it's been a lot of work. I'm still driving, I'm still on the road, but it's so much work. I'm so scared and I'm risking my life right now that I'm even filming. Even filming it is very risky. Oh my god. Hi guys. So um, I just put on my dress and I decided to tweak the head thing a little bit. So I put raw silk instead of the scarf of the lace 
and I changed my earring to this dangling one and yeah I decided to go with a different scarf style I went with this one and I think I feel it more than the other one I think I look nicer now than the other one and I think I look ready I have all the drama going on on the sleeves of the dress and oh my god guys I love myself and I know I look pretty I'm going to go take some pictures for my Instagram and I'll see you guys in a bit also this is the bag that I'm wearing today I brought out my stuff from that one and this is the one I'm going to use today that's my beautiful auntie my nana she looks so good like look at her dress oh that's that man then that's auntie mimi <laughs> <laughs> okay. he yeah he's eating baby how much say hi hi he's not in the mood he's just eating his food <laughs> so cute. That's him looking at Nana. We ran away from the wedding and stopped by at my auntie's. She's feeding me because I'm starving. This is some kind of soup. I don't know which it is. Then this is rice and some tea. That's her. I don't know why she doesn't want to be in the vlog, but that's her, such a cutie. And this is my other aunt, Rahma. You guys know her. So yeah, that's that. And bye. Yeah, so I got a delivery and this is all the packaging from the delivery that I took off all the papers and this. I got myself a little itty bitty tiny gift to like I don't know to like a little bit spoil myself to just spoil myself because i have worked a lot i have worked 2020 has been such a stressful year for me i did a lot i maxed out my abilities and like well even though i'm so proud of myself i know i worked a lot so um yeah i got myself a little small gift and i want to unbox it on this video so let's see what i got i got it through a personal shopper in the uk I'll tag her page on the page well I'll tag her page on the screen so you can check it out and maybe you can send her a message she doesn't charge much honestly based on all the other personal shoppers I know but let's see what I got this is it. it's so tiny like literally but it's worth it it's worth every penny so this is what I got this is the bag and okay It's 
I came with these little cards inside the bag and the receipt and like oh my god guys it's so beautiful I love it already I've been wanting to get this tiny one but like my husband kept telling me it's not worth it it's just so tiny I can't use it and blah 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 my phone wouldn't even fit inside my camera won't fit inside but I love it I'm going to a wedding today and I think I'm going to use it at the wedding already it's so pretty and also the personal shopper told me that um, if any of these stones come off I can take it back to Gucci for repairs and yeah that is very exciting because one of these days it might come off and I can just take it back for repairs so yeah just like I did with my Alma I took it back for the initials and they did that for me and it's free so yeah that's that I'll see you guys in a bit 